With the release of Creo Simulate 3.0, users will be able to create and execute map keys directly within Creo Simulate. A map key is a keyboard macro that maps frequently used command sequences to certain keyboard keys or sets of keys. You can access the map key dialog in one of two ways. Either through File, Options, Environment, Map Key Settings. This will bring up the Map Keys dialog. Alternatively, you can also open up the Search Command tool and type in Map Key. As mentioned, the Map Key is a, a macro that maps frequently used commands linked to a keyboard key. Let's go ahead and quickly define a new Map Key. I'm going to click on New, and let's define a key sequence. In this case, I'm going to say ME. Typing ME going forward will execute the specific sequence of operations. In this case, so I'm going to give it a name and we'll call it Mesh. I'll then add a description. At this point, we can now record the sequence of operations. I'm going to click on Record. At this point, I could then click on Refine, Model, Auto Gem. I'll create the Mesh. At this point, it now shows me the results. Once I'm done reviewing this, I can simply close these windows. But I can also add that into the macro. So let's go ahead and click on pause. On the screen, a resume prompt dialog will appear. Let's add some context. When finished, click resume to proceed. Click on OK. Now I'm going to click on resume. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on close, close, close. And I do not want to save the mesh. Again, it captures all that sequence of operations in this specific map key. At this point, we'll click Stop and OK. I could save these changes. These will be saved to my overall config.pro, which then could be leveraged and read anytime I start up Creo Simulate. At this point, let's execute the command, ME. It quickly shows me my results. And at this point, I could click on Resume. And now I'm done. At this point, I can open up any model and perform that map key. Again, it'll show you the overall elements created for this particular part or assembly. You can review them, and then when you're done, click Resume to exit out of the mesh. In addition, you can add these map keys as an icon in any group or tab within the Creo standard ribbon interface. Map keys are an optional operation within Creo Simulate, as they are in Creo Parametric. But for many users, map keys helps execute those frequently used commands, improving their productivity.